Finding fossils is important, because fossils are literal, holdable history. Finding new ones is like finding a new piece of the jigsaw puzzle that is the tapestry of Earth's history. But sometimes we find a piece so shocking it could reinvent what we think the puzzle even is. These are the 20 impossible fossils that could completely rewrite human history. Number 20. Dinosaur discovered with actual skin. Looks like archaeologists hit the ground running with this discovery. A significant dinosaur discovery has taken place in Alberta, Canada, with the unearthing of a well-preserved hadrosaur fossil. The finding occurred in a provincial park on August 9th, 2021, and has generated a great deal of excitement among bone hunters and paleontologists. Why? Because the estimated 69 million year old hadrosaur contains intact skin impressions. This level of preservation is extremely rare and offers invaluable insights into the appearance and biology of these ancient creatures. Paleontologists believe that the hadrosaur, a herbivorous dinosaur, also known as a duck-billed dinosaur, may have been buried quickly after its passing, allowing for the preservation of its skin. The fossil is approximately three meters long, and its skin impressions provide details about the texture and scale patterns of the dinosaur's skin. This discovery has attracted the attention of bone hunters and paleontologists from various locations who have expressed their enthusiasm for the finding. Looks like it's open season for some good dinosaur discoveries out there, huh? Now it's time for the odd topic. Human skeletons are always unearthed during digs. It's nothing odd about that. But now and again, we find one that shakes up what we thought we knew about human evolution. And this skeleton, recently found in Africa, has shaken up preconceived notions about human history. Cause look at the scale of it. There have been a lot of rumblings online in recent months, we're sure you've seen it somewhere, about growing evidence that giants might have once walked the earth. That's right, literal, actual giants. Now, while that may seem silly, humans really do come in all shapes and sizes, and people like Andre the Giant prove that humans can be a lot bigger than you'd think. Is it really that outlandish to consider that at some point in a billion years of history, giants were among us? This skeleton seems to point exactly to that. While we don't have confirmation that it is a giant humanoid just yet, experts are analyzing it as we speak to figure out the truth. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Baby Snake Fossil Found in Amber this next one is a reptile too, but it's no dinosaur. Instead, it's a 99 million year old baby snake. But before we break into amber, how about you guys break into those like and subscribe buttons if you're liking the video so far. Those two little buttons really go a long way for us and we appreciate our supporters massively. Done? Let's get back to the Senor Baby Snake. It might just be the world's oldest known baby snake preserved in amber too. The fossil was found in Myanmar, Burma, and belongs to a newly identified species called Xiaophis myanmarensis. This many-syllabled finding was reported in a study published in the journal Science Advances on September 15th, 2021. The baby snake, measuring a mere 5 centimeters in length, provides valuable insights into the early development and evolution of snakes. Its remarkable preservation in amber allows scientists to examine delicate features such as scales and spinal structures, providing clues about the ancient snake's anatomy and lifestyle during those prehistoric times. The fossil the fossilized snake is believed to have lived during the mid-Cretaceous period, coexisting with dinosaurs. With this, we've got more info on how animals grew, evolved, and propagated those times. Oh, and not to mention their cool lifestyle alongside the freaking dinosaurs. Number 18. 98 million year old Argentinian dinosaur. Speaking of dinosaurs, we've got another one. The next groundbreaking discovery to talk about on this list is about the paleontologists in Argentina who have unearthed dinosaur fossils that could belong to the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth. As of May 17th, 2021, the fossils were discovered in the New Quen province of Argentina, which is known for its numerous fossil deposits. The fossils, which are likely to be from a titanosaur, a type of long-necked herbivorous dinosaur, are 90 
28 million years old. The dinosaur is known as Paticotitan Mayorum, which measured approximately 37 meters long. That's essentially a walking building, if you've ever seen one. These large Cretaceous period beasts would have shocked the Earth whenever they walked, and the possibilities with them are nigh endless. Just think, there could be other specimens out there that could be potentially bigger than what we have already discovered. Number 17. Oldest Human Footprints in New Mexico Let's take a break from the dinosaurs, and let's look at our own ancestors. The oldest human footprints uncovered in Mexico recently, according to the latest research, are not as old as previously thought. These dusty footprints were discovered at White Sands National Park in New Mexico, and were originally believed to be 23,000 years old. The US Geological Survey and Bournemouth University in the United Kingdom have conducted extensive investigation, and the findings show that the impressions are far younger than originally thought, around 7,200 years old. The new dating is based on a comprehensive investigation of sedimentary layers around the footprints, as well as research into the local environment at the time the footprints were created. To determine the new age, the researchers employed optically stimulated luminescence dating methods and radiocarbon dating. Basically, more sciency tech that's probably too much for us smooth brains. Of course, this opens the flood gates as we question how far back humans really did first appear, and where did they first appear? Number 16. 100 million year old fossil in Queensland and we're back to the dinosaurs. A rare fossil, estimated to be around 100 million years old, has been discovered in Queensland, Australia, leaving scientists amazed. The remarkable find consists of a nearly complete dinosaur skeleton believed to belong to a new species of plesiosaurs. They're basically long-necked marine reptiles that lived alongside dinosaurs. The fossil includes well-preserved bones, teeth, and even some soft tissue, providing a unique opportunity for scientists to study the anatomy and behavior of this ancient reptile. This discovery is sure to please the boys back home waiting for more plesiosaur skeletons. It also provides valuable insights into the ecosystem and paleo environment of ancient Australia. The fossil is now being carefully excavated and prepared for further analysis, which will shed more light on these magnificent creatures. Number 15. Hadrosaurus Embryo Fossils We've seen hadrosaurus skeletons with skin impressions, but what about seeing some baby hadrosaurs? Two remarkably preserved hadrosaur egg fossils have been discovered in Gansu City, China. They range from 66 to 72 million years old, making these babies way beyond their senior years. Not to mention, that would put them around the Cretaceous period, the last area of the dinosaurs, before they got wiped off of existence. The hadrosaurus embryo is incredibly detailed, with delicate structures and features visible under high-resolution imaging techniques. With this discovery, scientists can more accurately study the structure of these extinct babies, probably even learn a thing or two about their anatomy and developmental process. Number 14. Whale Fossil in Egyptian Desert Apart from dinosaurs, the ancient times had a lot of freaky oddities. This next entry on the list is a bit of a doozy because you would have not expected this in a million years. Well, it's a whale found in a desert. Wadi al-Hitan, also known as Whale Valley, located in the western desert of Egypt, is a site of immense paleontological significance. It contains invaluable fossil remains of Archaeoceti, the earliest suborder of whales that are now extinct. Wadi al-Hitan showcases the transition of whales during their evolutionary journey, with fossils showing the last stages of the whales losing their hind limbs. The site is renowned for the exceptional preservation and abundance of these fossils, including complete skeletons, as well as other fossil material that provides insights into the surrounding environment and ecological conditions of the time. Don't get any ideas about joyriding here, however, because the property is a strictly protected zone within the wider landscape of the Wadi El Rayan protected area. It is managed by the Nature Conservation Sector, or NCS, of the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency, or EEAA. The site benefits from strong legal protection under Egyptian Law 102-1983, which prohibits actions that could harm the natural environment. Effective management 
management measures are in place, including the implementation of a management plan that designates the property as a World Heritage Zone, vehicle access is prohibited, but while controlled ecotourism activities are allowed in designated areas, so if you and your mates want to see some ancient desert whale bones, you know where to go. Number 13. 500 million year old crab fossil any Star Wars fans out there watching? This next entry might just tickle your fancy. In a fascinating discovery, scientists have named a newly found crab species after the iconic Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. The crab, known as Cambrorasta falcatus, lived over 500 million years ago and possessed unique features such as rake-like claws and a pineapple slice-shaped mouth. The creature reached an impressive length of up to 0.3048 meters, making it significant significantly larger than other animals during the Cambrian period. Fossils of sea falcatas were uncovered in the 506 million year old Burgess Shale within the Marble Canyon area of Kootenay National Park in British Columbia. The name of the species was chosen due to the large shield-like carapace on its head resembling Han Solo's iconic spacecraft. Despite its resemblance to modern horseshoe crabs, C. falcatus showcases remarkable evolutionary convergence. It exhibited predatory behavior and had a varied diet, preying on insects, spiders, and even other crabs using its unique claws. The researchers, led by Joe Moisiuk, were astounded by the completeness of the fossil specimen found, allowing for a detailed understanding of the creature's appearance and behavior. Safe to say that this discovery is when two worlds collide, the past and the future. Number 12. Fossils of Rainforests in Australia Forget individual animals. This discovery just unearthed an entire ancient rainforest. This new fossil site, named McGrath Flat, has been discovered in central New South Wales, Australia, providing a unique window into the ancient rainforests of the Miocene Epoch around 15 million years ago. The site, documented in the journal Science Advances, is a Konservat Lagerstatt, which is a special type of fossil site that preserves soil tissues of organisms, which is insanely rare. McGrath's flat stands out for several reasons. Firstly, it contains a diverse array of fragile and soft-bodied organisms that are rarely found in the fossil record. Thirteen well-preserved spiders, numerous insect species, and other delicate creatures have been unearthed at the site, many of which are new to science. Secondly, the fossils exhibit exceptional preservation, enabling researchers to examine the cellular structures of the organisms under scanning electron microscopes. In some cases, the color patterns of certain animals can be reconstructed based on the preserved melanosomes, which are tiny organelles associated with pigmentation. Thirdly, high-quality preservation allows scientists to uncover evidence of species interactions that are typically difficult to discern. For example, Pollen found on a sawfly provides insights into the flower it visited and potentially pollinated. Fossilized fish have also yielded remains of their prey, and a larval muscle attached to a fish demonstrates a case of ancient parasitism. The McGrath's flat also offers valuable information about the impact of climate change on ecosystems. By analyzing pollen and spore grains preserved in the sediments, researchers can date the fossils to the Miocene epoch and observe changes in in the landscape, the presence of drier habitats surrounding the rainforests suggests that the ecosystem was undergoing transformation at that time. The ongoing excavation and study of the McGrath's flat site will provide further insights into the Miocene environment and the creatures from then and now. Actually, not just that, but the studies about the landscape can probably aid in predicting how modern Australian environments might respond to climate change. Number 11. Jurassic Era Plant Fossil Finally, a discovery that might help a lot of us to touch grass. In all seriousness, Chinese paleobotanists have made a significant discovery in North China's Inner Mongolia, unearthing the fossils of Jura Herba Bode, believed to be the world's earliest herbaceous angiosperm plant from the mid-Jurassic period. The plant, discovered near the southeast corner of Inner Mongolia by Professor Hang Gang of Bohai University, measures less than 4 centimeters tall and boasts well-preserved 
roots, stem, leaves, and fruit. The plant also has the presence of fructifications, which indicates the plant's maturity. Professor Han suggests that Juraherba is a herbaceous seed plant, most likely an angiosperm, with the enclosed seeds providing further confirmation of its affinity to angiosperms. The discovery challenges the existing belief among Western botanists that angiosperms originated from the early Cretaceous period, pushing the date back by 40 million years. A new milestone for plant prehistory for sure. Number 10. Dinosaur fossil is best preserved of its kind. Time for some more dinosaur news. This is a relatively new dinosaur, but apparently it also has one of the best preserved remains. The fossils belong to Nodosaurus, an armored plant-eating dinosaur that lived approximately 110 million years ago. The discovery took place at the Millennium Mine in Alberta, Canada, with Sean Funk, a heavy equipment operator, who stumbled upon the fossil while excavating for the energy company Suncor. The fossil, the best preserved of its kind, showcases a bony armor coating the neck and back, with individual scales outlined in gray circles. The nodosaur measured around 2.7432 meters and weighed nearly 1,360.777 kilograms. The fossil's preservation is exceptionally rare, with remnants of skin and armor still intact. Paleontologists typically only find bones and teeth, making this fossil a unique unique find. The rapid undersea burial contributed to its exceptional preservation. Paleobiologist Jacob Vintha was astounded by the level of preservation, stating that he had never seen anything like this. The painstaking process of excavating and preparing the fossil took several years. Fossil preparator Mark Mitchell spending over 7,000 hours delicately exposing the skin and bones. However, much remains to be understood, as the skeleton is mostly obscured within the skin and armor. Scientists hope to reconstruct the dinosaur's original coloration using microscopic remnants of its pigmentation. Just think that paleontologists could just be a few years away from fully recreating a dinosaur to match its most accurate form. Until that day comes, the astoundingly preserved Nodosaurus should help us understand more about one of Earth's greatest species. Number 9. 5,000-year-old whale skeleton Well, well, whale. Yep, we've got a broadside on another whale, but it isn't in a desert this time. Early in November 2022, a whale skeleton believed to be between 3,000 and 5,000 years old was discovered in Thailand. It is estimated that the skeleton of a bride's whale, which was found roughly 12 kilometers from the coast west of Bangkok, is 12 meters long. This discovery is considered rare, as there are few whale subfossils in Asia, and even fewer in such remarkable condition. More than 80% of the skeleton, including vertebrae, ribs, fins, and a shoulder blade, have been recovered thus far, with pictures shared by Thailand's environmental minister showcasing the nearly intact bones. The head alone is estimated to measure around 3 meters in length. However, it has not yet been revealed how old the bones actually are. Over the past 10,000 years, the sea level in the Gulf of Thailand, where the skeleton was discovered, off the coast of Samut Sakhon has changed significantly, possibly rising up to 4 meters above current levels. Bride's whales still inhibit the waters around Thailand today, making this discovery an intriguing link between the past and present marine ecosystems. Number 8. Massive Car-Sized Turtle Fossil this may come as a surprise, but almost anything prehistoric is probably larger than their modern counterparts, if they have any. This includes lizards, birds, mammals, and even this turtle that's the size of a car. Newly discovered fossils have provided fresh insights into, yes, a car-sized turtle that once inhabited South America. The fossils belong to Stupendemis geographicus, a massive reptile that roamed the lakes and rivers of northern South America approximately 13 million to 7 million years ago. The remains were found in Colombia's Tatacoa Desert and Venezuela's Urumaco region. Stupendimus could grow up to 4 meters long and weigh about 1,133.981 kilograms. Males of this species possessed robust front-facing horns on their shells near the neck. Fossil evidence suggests that these horns were likely used as weapons during territorial disputes or competition for mates. In contrast, females 
did not have horns. Similar fighting behavior can be observed among certain turtles alive today, such as male tortoises. Stupendemis is the second largest known turtle, surpassed only by the seagoing Archelon from the Age of Dinosaurs, which measured approximately 4.6 meters in length. The new fossils, including a 2.86 meters shell, provided vital information about the turtle's anatomy and diet. Stupendemis had a diverse diet, consuming small animals like fish, caimans, snakes, as well as mollusks, vegetation, fruit, and seeds. It primarily inhabited the depths of large freshwater bodies such as lakes and rivers. The massive Stupendemis inhabited a vast wetland system across present-day Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and Peru before the formation of the Amazon and Orinoco rivers. Its colossal size likely served as a defense mechanism against formidable predators such as the 11-meter-long Caiman, Purusaurus, and the 10-meter-long gavial relative, Gryposuchus. Notably, one of the Stupendemis fossils was discovered with a 5-centimeter crocodile tooth embedded in it, highlighting the challenges it faced in its environment. It shows that some things never change. Number 7. A Fossil Snake With Four Legs Lots of wacky stuff can happen in Brazil, but get this, they found an ancient snake that used to have four legs. Scientists have said that this creature just might be the earliest known four-legged snake. The well-preserved limbs of the creature, which measures around 20 centimeters in length, possesses five functional slender digits. Estimated to be around 120 million years old, the fossil is believed to have originated from Brazil and provides evidence that snakes evolved from terrestrial ancestors in Gondwana, the remains of the supercontinent Pangaea. However, there is a scientific debate regarding its classification within the snake family tree. This finding, however, has been met with controversy due to the uncertainties surrounding the fossil's origins and acquisition. The fossil has been part of a private collection before being discovered by David Martill from the University of Portsmouth during a visit to the Museum Solenhofen in Germany. Although the precise details of the collection are unknown, the characteristics of the limestone and the distinct color of the bones strongly suggest a northeastern region of Brazil as its source. The snake is named Tetrapodophis amplectus. The species is the first known four-legged snake and displays several snake-like features such as its high number of spinal vertebrae, curved teeth, and belly scales. The reduced size of its limbs and cylindrical tail supports the theory that snakes evolved from burrowing terrestrial creatures rather than marine animals. However, some scientists have reservations about its classification, noting differences in spinal vertebrae morphology compared to other snakes and lizards. They propose an alternative hypothesis that Tetrapodophis may be a remnant of an extinct amphibian group that existed prior to its appearance. The fossil will be made available for further scientific analysis after being permanently loaned to the Museum Solenhofen. Regardless of its final classification, it looks like Tetrapodophis has caused quite a riot in the paleontology community. Number 6. Perfectly Preserved Dinosaur Embryo this may look the same to the hadrosaur from earlier that was found in China as well, but this is no hadrosaur. In fact, it looks like a bipedal predator. A stunningly well-preserved dinosaur embryo has been discovered inside a fossilized egg, providing a rare glimpse into the early stages of dinosaur development. The embryo, affectionately named Baby Yingliang, was found in southern China and belongs to an oviraptorsaur, a type of theropod dinosaur. The fossils date back to the late Cretaceous period, making it approximately 66 to 72 million years old. The remarkable aspect of the baby Yingliang fossil is its exceptional preservation and its position within the egg, resembling the posture of a modern bird embryo just before hatching. The University of Birmingham and China University of Geosciences researchers think that pre-hatching behavior shared by modern birds and dinosaurs may have included this tucking stance. The egg was around 17 centimeters long, whereas the dinosaur embryo was thought to have been about 27 centimeters long. The find is significant as it highlights the similarities between the embryonic development of dinosaurs and birds. Out of the recent news, I guess dinosaur babies are pulling just as much weight in the paleontology community as their adult counterparts. Number 5. Fossilized Crocodile Discovery in Australia 
Crocodiles have ruled this world for millions of years. Heck, they've even met the dinosaurs. No, that's not meat with a M-E-E-T, but literally a M-E-A-T. Because approximately 95 million years ago in Australia, a few of these slithery living bear traps just chomped on a dinosaur. Crocodilian fossils were unearthed in 2010 near the Winston Formation, a Cretaceous rock bed known for its dinosaur fossils. The crocodile, named Confractosuchus sarotonos, was estimated to be 2.4 meters long, with the potential to grow even larger, its fossils revealed that it had consumed a dinosaur as its final meal. Scientists at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum analyzed the crushed crocodile fossils and found smaller bones within them. Further examination using X-ray and CT scans confirmed that these bones belonged to a 1.8 kilograms juvenile ornithopod, a plant-eating dinosaur group that included duck-billed species. This discovery not only revealed the crocodile's last meal, but also marked the first evidence of crocodiles preying on dinosaurs in Australia. The crocodile's stomach contained the femur of the ornithopod, with one half sheared and a clear bite mark on the other. This indicates that the Confractosuchus either ended the dinosaur or scavenged its remains shortly after its passing. The findings shed light on the ecological food web during the Cretaceous period, suggesting that dinosaurs were an important resource for crocodiles. Just goes to show that crocs are not to be trifled with, even if you're a big scary dinosaur. Number 4. Fossil of Shape-Altering Creature Found now this next entry might seem rather out of this world. Some scientists in Morocco found a bit of a gem in their expedition because, let's face it, it looks alien. This helical cocoon-like fossil called Helicocystis morocoensis is suggested to be more than 400 million years old. This was during the Cambrian era when most living things were living in the seas and this might be the reason why it looks so alien. It's a tiny alien though because it's only about 4 centimeters long. A lot of the living things in the Cambrian era look very otherworldly. That's because life was at its early stages and only finding out and developing new and innovative ways to propagate their own respective races. Helisocystis is no exception to these E.T. looking freaks. But if you look closer, there's an opening at the top. That's said to be its mouth, and scientists even pointed out that Helicocystis is an early ancestor of modern-day echinoderms like starfishes. This creature is a retrospective perspective culture shock to us, but it's also a reminder that things adapt and evolve in all sorts of ways, shapes, and sizes, because that's how life finds a way. Number 3. A Feathered Dinosaur Tail in Amber Yes, yes, dinosaurs have feathers. Since they're closely related to modern-day birds, get over it. Honestly, it looks nice. And here's another specimen of it. A dinosaur tail with exquisitely preserved feathers has been found trapped in amber. This finding marks the first time that feathers have been definitively linked to a dinosaur, offering valuable insights that fossils alone could not provide. The tail was uncovered in Myanmar last year when it was being sold as a piece of amber containing plants material. Researchers from the Royal Saskatchewan Museum in Canada and the China University of Geoscience in Beijing carefully examined the specimen using microscopy and a CT scanner. They determined that the tail belonged to a young Quelurosaurid, a bird-like carnivorous dinosaur that lived approximately 99 million years ago during the Cretaceous era. The preserved feathers exhibit intricate details and are surrounded by eight vertebrae, providing a three and microscopic view of their structure. The dinosaur, affectionately nicknamed Eva, was estimated to be the size of a sparrow at the time of her passing, with full-grown adults reaching slightly smaller than an ostrich. Notably, the feathers reveal a chestnut-brown upper surface and a pale or white underside. What sets these feathers apart is the absence of a well-developed central shaft, known as a rachis, which has implications for the evolution of flight. Additionally, the analysis of the exposed surface of the amber revealed traces of ferrous iron, indicating the presence of hemoglobin from Ava's blood that was preserved alongside the feathers. This finding adds further intrigue to the specimen and highlights the potential for future discoveries of similarly preserved remains. This is just one of many discoveries that have linked dinosaurs to modern-day birds, such as behavior, bone structure, and even ancestral roots. 
Number two. Two million year old fossils suggest species diversity. Speaking of the Cretaceous era, a discovery has been made in Jinju, Gyeongsangnam Du province, where the trackway of a hopping mammal from the earliest Cretaceous period has been found. Yes, small mammals did live alongside the dinosaurs. This trackway, consisting of nine sets of footprints, provides evidence of a species that hopped on its hind legs like a kangaroo. The fossils were discovered in the Jinju Formation, a geologic formation dating back 110 million years ago. Named Coriosaltipus jinjuensis, these are your culprits for these cute, tiny footprints. The footprints are about 1 cm long, with 2.1 cm between the left and right feet. The average length of a stride is 4.1 cm. Based on the unusual qualities of the footprints, such as the larger middle toe and the consistent size and shape of all the toes, the researchers concluded that the footprints belong to a Cretaceous mammal. The Cultural Heritage Administration or CHA, stressed the significance of this discovery, arguing that it demonstrates mammals coexisted on the Korean peninsula with dinosaurs, pterodactyls, birds, crocodiles, lizards, and fish throughout the Cretaceous period. The newly discovered fossil differs morphologically from previously found footprints of hopping mammals, displaying distinct features in the shape, angle, and traits of the toes and trackway. Eventually, these little guys would survive the Cretaceous extinction event and pick up where the dinosaurs left off. Millions of years later, ta-da! Modern civilization with human germs everywhere. Number 1. Sea Dragon Fossil Dug Up in England for our last entry, did you know that a lot of the reasons that people think dragons and other mythical beasts existed are because of the fossils that people found during the early strides of humanity? Well, here's such an example. The petrified remains of a massive sea creature from the Jurassic era have been discovered in the United Kingdom, which is a huge paleontological find. The paleontological discovery of a lifetime, a well-preserved fossil, was found in February 2021 at the Rutland Conservation Team at the Rutland Water Nature Reserve in central England. Joe Davis, a member of the Water Conservation Team, stumbled upon the fossil while carrying out routine draining procedures for re-landscaping. The fossil, which has been identified as belonging to an ichthyosaur, a marine reptile that resembled a dolphin, is 180 million years old and about 10 meters long, with a head that is over 2 meters long. This is the largest and most complex Ichthyosaur skeleton ever recovered in Britain, according to Ichthyosaur expert Dean Lomax. That explains its sea dragon reputation. Due to its size and completeness, the fossil is regarded as incredibly rare, with instances that are similar being most frequently discovered in Germany and North America. The excavations participating paleontologists are investigating the remains further and writing an academic article on their results. Thanks to these scientists and and their discoveries were not stuck in the dark ages thinking about silly things like sea dragons. Alright, that's enough digging. Tell us what you found in those rocks. Which of these prehistoric wonders blew you away? Tell us in the comment section below. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure to check out the videos in the cards now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, life finds a way. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.